All right. Hey, hey everybody. Uh, so yeah, Fear and Fault Protocol uh, is this project. Uh, my talk is called How EFP Got the Talk Daddy to, to Finally Fill Out His ENS Profile, and you should too. All right, so real quick, who I am, I'm Brantley Dottie. Uh, this is my, uh, my profile pic, former director of the ENS core team. I'm very involved in the ENS DAO. I'm a delegate, I'm also on the Security Council. Creator of Sign of Ethereum, which is an authentication standard uh, for Ethereum accounts, and also the creator and lead of EFP. And we also have the rest of our incredible team right here in the front row. And you click it in the row. All right, so Ethereum follow protocol. Protocol. What is it? It's a decentralized on-chain social graph protocol for Ethereum accounts. I want to quickly just highlight what this means. Obviously, it's decentralized. It's on-chain, so it's 100% on-chain. Um, it's a social graph protocol. So social graph is who follows who, like who knows who is connected to who. Uh, protocol uh, because it's a you know decentralized thing. It's for Ethereum accounts. Um, that complements. ENS and other elements of the Ethereum identity stack. So the idea here is EFP doesn't have, you know, it's a naming system or anything like that. It's designed uh, in mind to be used with ENS. So ENS is the username and profile system of the universe, right? Yes, okay? It is the one true naming system for all people of all times, and that is what we use. Um, key things to know about uh, EFP, Ethereum Follow Protocol, it is not a Twitter clone. So in the sense that it's just the social graph portion, there's no posting or anything like that. The idea is it's meant to be combined with ENS and other apps and, and, and things like that. Um, and as Lyons mentioned, we are an ENS DAO service provider. We are very grateful to ENS and the ENS DAO. We've gotten almost all of our funding. About a year ago, we got a large grant um, uh, from the ENS DAO that kind of kickstarted the project, and then we got the, the service provider funding as well. So we're, we're very grateful. Um, this is one way I think about how these protocols go together. Um, for ENS, uh, with ENS, we name with Ethereum, uh, then we sign in with Ethereum, and now you can follow with Ethereum. All goes together. Uh, this is just a quick look of just what our web app looks like. Now remember, EFP is not an app. It's a protocol that uh, runs on, um, on chain. And anybody could build their own user interface. You can integrate it into your app however you want. This is just what our uh, kind of our manager app looks like. You can see here you have your profile card, and we'll talk more about that. Some like leaderboard stuff, some badges, recent activity. Uh, we also have this great on-chain feed here in the middle, um, powered by Interface, which is a great app. I highly recommend everybody uh, download that on your phones. Um, you can see what the on-chain activity has been of the people who you follow. This is what our profile pages look like. So if you're following, you can uh, click over to see the followers as well. We have top eight. Was anybody here on MySpace back in the day? Anybody, okay, a couple of people. Yeah, so you remember how you had to like, not just have your friends, but who are your top eight friends? We wanna bring that kind of like social insecurity on chain, okay? <laughs> that is what our, we are doing, right? Cause you're gonna have to make some tough calls. There's only eight spots, that's it. Um, okay. Uh, we also have this great um, feature called Swipe. It's like Tinder, but for following uh, Ethereum accounts. So it'll populate up different cards. You can swipe left, you know, meh, or swipe right to follow on chain. That's really fun. Also, because everything's on chain, you have to do a transaction. Uh, but of course, you don't have to do a transaction every time you do an action. So we use a shopping cart analogy where you do actions around the app and they build up in your cart and then you go to your cart and you can check out all those actions with one transaction. Uh, we support up to a thousand actions per transaction, so unless you're really, really busy, uh, you can do that in one transaction. Uh, so that's what that looks like there. Some quick stats. So we launched on mainnet September 24th. Uh, so we've only been live now for about six weeks or so. Um, I, so my wife, uh, my wife and I, we are expecting a child this year. And I told my team, I said, we have to launch before the child is born. I said, well, I said who's gonna launch first? You know, my wife, my child, or EFP. And we beat, we beat um, uh, my wife uh, by about two weeks, okay? Incredible. Um, yeah, we're very blessed, it was our eighth child. It's incredible. Okay, yeah, there's some stats, okay. Uh, some quick stats, so uh, 11, 
0.6k unique mentor. So I say that's the closest thing to unique users, um, which I think is pretty great for you know for six weeks here. Um, this is list operations. That's like uh, follow, unfollow, tag, untag on um, on EFP on chain. This is addresses. So this is this is the number of addresses that touch EFP in any way. So not only people who have done actions, but people like who have followed people, but people who have been followed. Um, so obviously more people have been followed than who have done following. Uh, but what this tells you is the number of addresses that have some sort of signal about who they are in the web of social connections on chain. So even if you've never used EFP, by the way, because we use the Ethereum addresses, you can have followers. Other people can follow you, which starts to say information about who you are and how you fit into the community. Yeah, so I, I've been talking about this EFP, the Ethereum identity stack. How do, how do we relate to these things? So we just use ENS, no competing username or profile system. We simply use ENS as everybody should. Accounts, no special accounts. We just use Ethereum accounts. Like I said, you might already have followers the first time you go to our app. Sign with Ethereum, that we don't have our own authentication protocol. The assumption is that you would just use that. Um, we use ENS throughout our app in many ways. I just wanted to highlight uh, this aspect of it. So here's your, you know, your profile card. Let's say you want to edit your profile. Well, when you click edit your edit profile, it just goes to the ENS app because ENS is your profile. That's it. Um, we support header images. Um, we support avatars, your primary name, short bio, your socials, your URL, your, your decentralized website, all these things. All of this here from here and above is all ENS, and this is just the EFP part. Um, this is our vision of how your profile should look in all apps, like this, right here. Um, another key thing we do in our design is that we also expose what you don't have set to encourage you to do it. So like, this is uh, RSA, uh, great guy, I love make lists, uh, but you know, he has a name, that's great, but he doesn't have anything else set, you can see it. Um, he doesn't have a header, avatar, you know, so you, there's just kind of stain in his bio, not set, it says that, right? All these socials are not set, but he does have followers, by the way. He hasn't followed people, but he does have followers. So hopefully when he logs on to, uh, to our man draft, um, he'll feel, you know, maybe a little bit of shame to fill out his ENS profile, that's what we want. Vitalik has been one of our early users. He actually uh, did a shout out to us in his presentation this morning and put his profile, his EFP profile card on his slides, which was amazing. Um, this though is what his profile card looked like um, right when we had launched EFP uh, before he had used it. Okay, so he did have an avatar, he didn't have a header, he didn't have a bio, he didn't have socials. And when he came, he was encouraged to then fill out the rest of his profile. He did it, this is what we want, right? <laughs> Incredible, you should do the same. If Vitalik did it, you should do it. Um, other things we do with ENS, you know, uh, we support ENS in our URLs, our search, manual cat art, uh, manual add to cards, more. Um, we also have a public API that uh, makes uh, accessible EFP data. Um, and we also uh, put there make accessible all of our ENS data is available too. So if you want to add just ENS into your app, you can use our API to do that. It's right there's a screenshot of our docs. Future plans, um, we want to support new text records. We're talking about maybe having like a status record, like I'm at DevCon or something like that that could show up on your profile that would be with you know, text records. You know, more profile customization, like autoplay background music. My yeah, my space. Space. yeah, so my, we're bringing back my space. Space. Yeah, your, your background, your colors, oh, we're doing this, okay? Whether you like it or not, this is happening on chain. Uh, we want to maybe make the edit your ENS records in the EFP app itself. Reusable ENS EFP profile card component, so that component that you saw, we want to make that a component that you can just drop, you know, with a single line of code into your app. That's something we want to do. So ENS and EFP complement each other. Um, ENS needs a social graph protocol to complement its usernames and profiles to remain competitive, and that is EFP, and it's live right now with thousands of users. Um, oh, this is an update. Um, I, so we, uh, we had a, a QR code that we designed uh, that you could scan to go to my profile. I guess this thing could update in the slides, but um, anyway. Questions? Go ahead. So you've been uh, building a social graph on Farcaster. Is there any kind of portability over into... So we have an import from Farcaster feature, you can do that. 
Yeah, a difference between us and Farcaster, you know, Farcaster is a vertically integrated you know, Twitter code, uh, which I, you know, I support. It's amazing, they've had a lot of success there. It's mostly off-chain, things like that. Uh, they have their own accounts. Uh, you can't follow someone unless they're on Farcaster and things like this. So with EFP, it's entirely on-chain. Uh, you don't need special accounts. People can follow, you can follow people even if they haven't like signed up or something like that. Um, so yes, cool. Uh, great, great brother. Um, Thank I'll, you. I was curious. Vitalik thinks so too. <laughs> um, I think there could be an interesting pivot where you create a badge system. Let's say when I go to someone's profile, I see, oh, right, so that's person, almost like on GitHub, you have this badge, is right? Oh, you know, that person supports public goods, right? They maybe donated 10 total, 100 total, or some other badges, right? This Absolutely. We actually already program. have like a badge section. It's just po apps that we've given to people. Where can, I, where can I find this thing? Do I want right past it? I went right past it. And oh, yeah. uh, now you go here. There. Right here. Oh, yeah. yeah, so we do, yeah, this could be expanded very easily. And anybody could, you could show whatever pops you want on your profile. One more question, we gotta wrap up. Yep. Um, you have also like book lists, so you can meet multiple lists. What's the use case of that? And is there any friction if you have multiple lists? Good question. Um, so I don't want to get too technical on exactly how it works. We do have docs and we can talk about it after this presentation. Um, but just like ENS, you can have multiple names and then you pick one to be your primary name that like represents you. You can have multiple lists, but you pick one of those lists to represent you, where you uh, specify a primary list. Okay. What was the thinking of to have lists? Uh, just makes it very, very mod modular for people. Um, there's a lot of like edge cases that that enables and we figured since we're building this to be a new protocol of the internet to be around for hundreds of years Let's build in the modular even if most users don't use that All right, thank you very much All right, thank you very much.